Hello Adventurers, Seraph here. This is a quick video to remind you that the Wind Blooms Breath event is going to end in less than 10 hours, according to my time here. And you don't want to miss it. It's got a lot of awesome rewards. Um, Wind Blooms Encounters here. Uh, the storyline's part of it. It's really awesome. And right here, this is a card, I believe, that's a special card you get when you complete this final uh, part of the quest line for the back of your TCG playing cards. It's really cool. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute, I think. Okay, uh, you want to go to your deck there, as I just showed, and you want to go to my deck, go to Deck Design Settings, and Card Back, and there's the new card back right there. It's called Lazarite Swirl, a special card back customized by the renowned artist Calx. Uh, by the way, you'll find out who that is in the storyline. Uh, like the Dragon of the East, stretch your wings more freely on the battlefield of cards. Pretty cool. Um, also the event shop, you get a uh, crown in here. Very important to get that. Uh, also important to get these here, it upgrades the weapon that you're going to get. Limited time weapon, I'll show what that's all about, and of course the other stuff's good to get, obviously. And then uh, in here, it looks like another one of those things to upgrade the weapon, fully uh, refine it basically. You get these items here for the Serenity Pot, they look very cool. Can't wait to uh, actually put them in my Serenity Pot and check them out. And then of course the event itself has these really cool, fun things to do. Um, this was a really cool thing to do multiplayer-wise, I haven't had a chance to do it yet. On my whale account, this is my free to play, I sped run the whole thing. On my uh, whale account, I'm going to take the time to enjoy it, do some multiplayer with it because it's made for multiplayer. If you do it solo, it's uh, it's okay. This is made for multiplayer fun, and I think it'll be cool. But if you're in a time crunch, the most important thing to do, hop in here, at least do this one. That's where you get the weapon. If you need to skip out on the rest, you can, but I think you do need to get these tickets just to get the stuff you need to refine the weapon. Again, unless you're in a severe time crunch, uh, just focus on getting the weapon and then the refinements for the weapon. And then as far as the uh, Ballad of Breeze, this is really cool. Um, it's another one of those like rock star, uh, what do you call it, you, you press the buttons or whatever to play along. I had a blast with it. It's kind of a mixture between Arataki's and the original one we had a long time ago, I feel like, with the uh, Windbloom. Um, I like it, and the songs were actually pretty cool and actually pretty difficult. But honestly, it's not too difficult to get the uh, Primagems. The other stuff... Um, I didn't have to really repeat any of this stuff, so I think you'll like it. Breezy Snapshots. Uh, this one is really, honestly, easy. Easiest thing of all. Uh, just go around, you, you go to locations, um, gives you the marker where exactly where you need to go to, and you just follow the instructions to set it up. Really easy thing to do, honestly. I enjoyed it. And some of the scenery I saw just made me really nostalgic with this game. Um, for example, in the Dragon Spine region, uh, I just cannot believe how nostalgic it made me feel. It's been a long time since I've been there. This game is just the most amazing game I've ever played. I, I can't even put it into words. Beautiful. Masterpiece of creation. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you get all your rewards. And then when you go to the event shop here, it's right here. Um, make sure that you've claimed everything. Like, you should have enough uh, currency if you've done everything to claim everything. Like, it's all sold out, as you can see. Uh, again, when you're in each of these events, uh, mini events, whatever, make sure you go into each one and claim the rewards down there. Make sure it's fully claimed on the right there. There's a check check mark there, as you can see. Double check that you haven't missed anything. I've had people before in my chat that have missed stuff, and luckily they saw it in my stream and went back and claimed stuff. So I've double checked. I've got everything. Double, triple checked. I am going to end this video now. Go hop on whale account. I've got uh, a whole dialogue of story to go through. I basically sped through this. I mean, I literally was just mashing that button. Hopefully in the future, Hoyoverse lets you just press one button to skip through the dialogue if you don't have time and just want to get the event portion done. But I wanted to point out a couple things that's really cool here before I wrap up this video. First thing is, make sure when you get done, you come here to this crafting table. I'm not going to actually talk to them and ruin this, the fun, spoiler or anything, but uh, this dialogue between Timaeus and Ying, Ying R. <laughs> I guess her name's Ying R. Anyway, you'll find out there's actually a voiceover, so you don't have to read it. It's really cool. Don't want to spoil that for you. And then also, uh, there's going to be a floating, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, castle thing. I think it's like right around here. Uh, basically, I don't want to spoil it, but it's important you actually go here and see the um, cutscene. Let me just show you. Okay, it's still there. As you can see, it's behind uh, behind Jean's head. There's like a, a wind lift you can get up there, I don't want to spoil that for you. It's basically a witch's tea party, and there's really cool stuff you want to find out there, you want to see for yourself. So I recommend even if you speed through the whole dialogue to get to the 
points you need to get the rewards that you at least take the time to slow down there and enjoy that part of it. And there's a cutscene too, so if you appreciate that kind of stuff, record it in high definition. It's worth it. It's pretty unique to this game, honestly. All right, I gotta get this video edited and uploaded right away because again, I gotta hop onto my whale account. Oh man, look at that tree down there. I just love it. This game is just breathtaking, mind blowing. Uh, the only thing it could use more is an open world where everybody can like come here, hundreds of people at a time in, in the world. That would be the only thing I would say that I hope in the future will change is to have an open world server, not just your own private world. I mean, it's cool to still have your private world, don't get me wrong, but it'd be cool if there was adventures everywhere running around. I think it'd be awesome. All right, as usual, like, comment, follow, subscribe. I will catch you in the next one. Make sure you get those rewards. I, of course, would miss something. Uh, make sure you're going to your battle pass and claiming. If you do all the events, you actually get uh, almost 5,000 experience here, these three check marks. So make sure you're getting that. Um, you're probably checking that anyway, especially as a free-to-play, but don't miss getting those as well.